Hi guys. Do normal cats, 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 a cat, do they, do they walk on top of roofs, roofs of, of houses? When I was being brought up in the village those days, we used to know cats as very loving animals that could come and pass near you and touch you with their tail. And uh, they used to be, you know, a cat. I used to walk, see cats going where human beings are. Sometimes when they are eating, it is there. And this is the traditional village life. Uh, when I came to Nairobi, I set up a business somewhere and uh, the roof, cats used to walk uh, on the roofs of that building. And uh, today I'm discussing this video because I've visited a, a, a friend's uh, business premises and uh, that business premises premise is in the market and guys let me tell you, as we are sitting on the seat like this, there is a transparent, uh, transparent uh, iron sheet that she has put on top of her roof. And guys, we are sitting there. Cats are walking on the roofs. And this reminded me of um, an estate also where cats, very big cats, um, cats that are not owned by anybody just walk on top of fences uh, you know stone stone uh, walls perimeter walls they are there walking and if you happen to come out and look at that cat like this it runs away runs away disappears so when this friend of mine was seated with me in her shop like this we were discussing uh, issues and uh, we were periodically interrupted by a cat that was walking, a very heavy cat that was walking on top of, uh, of, the, of the roofs, of the roof. And I was wondering, and, and I asked myself, myself, what is happening on top of the roof? My friend tells me, usually these cats walk on top of my roof and I've never known where they come from. Guys, <laughs> I looked. And through the transparent uh, sheet, iron sheet, I noticed a very, 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 very fat cat on top of the roof. Through the transparent iron sheet. It kept on walking across, up and down, up and down, and it was really disrupting us as we prayed because we were just having a small prayer session in her business premises. And guys, advise me what, what this can be. Do not, please, do not try to tell me that these are just cats. I have known cats as um, uh, pets that are very loving, that uh, walk on the ground, sometimes enter the houses. And in those uh, Western countries, they live in houses with people. They are fed there. They sleep on the bed with them. A cat is a very loving pet. Why are these cats in uh, business premises in Kenya walking on top so, on top of ho ho uh, roofs and uh, majestically, you know, walking and, and 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 making a lot of noise? And they are very humongous, very big. Are these cats? <laughs> you know, guys. Why I said I must discuss this is because people have become evil. They have become evil. And guys, people, many people engage the services of genies, evil spirits, to succeed in business. And it is known, it is known, it is not something that I'm coming up with. It is known that there are some people who worship the devil, they engage the services of uh, witchcraft, uh, witches and uh, uh, genies in order to succeed in business and uh, I'm not uh, here to say that uh, the cat that was walking on top of the roof was a genie but I've never seen that kind of a cat no not in my lifetime I'm a village girl was brought up in the village half grown in the village 
and uh, I have never known uh, this to happen that cats can be on top of houses you people have were you brought up in the villages did you ever see cats on top of the roofs the roofs at home never I've never seen a cat on top of it. the houses the house that I was brought in I've never seen a cat on top of the roof walking and guys why I decided to do this video is because people have become evil people are worshiping the devil and worship who you want the Bible says choose for the those that are con sinning continue seeing it sinning and those that are serving the Lord continue serving the Lord so those that are worshiping the devil continue worshiping the devil you are going to see the the fruits of worshiping the devil you, who gave you life? Why do you choose the devil? Who gave you life this morning? Why did you sleep and wake up this morning? Did you sleep and wake up by any other powers other than the powers of the of the maker of heaven and earth? Can the devil give you life? Can the devil give you the breath of life? You can never get anything free from the devil. The devil does not have a free thing. So whether you want to do business and you want to engage services of witchcraft so that... Uh, you may sell more than your neighbor, your neighbor in business. Let me tell you, even that money is not blessed. That money will not even help you guys. Because let me tell you, it is, there is nothing that is of the devil that is free. There is nothing that is of the devil that is free. With our God, we are promised everything free. Just believing in your heart and declaring with your tongue. Bang! You declare, speak with this tongue and say that Jesus Christ is Lord. Just that. And you believe in your heart. Don't just say it. Believe it in your heart. And that in itself is all that we are required to do. As for those that serve the devil, whatever you give, you, you whatever he give, he brings to you, he tells you to use, you pay money so that they, he can give you those, de those, those demons so that you can put them in your business premises. And, and what do, why do you want that money? What, what is that money for if you cannot have life? In the long run, the same demons that you engage, be it genies or whatever they are called, they'll come for your life. They may even come for your family's lives before they come for yours. But eventually they'll come for your life and kill you. Because the devil doesn't have a free thing. Nothing is free of the devil. You have to pay for it. And why do you even want the devil to rule over your life? Guys, avoid these things. Pray in the morning and tell God, He's the giver of life. The Bible says, He is the owner of soul, silver and gold. And cut on a thousand hills belongs to Him. You may go to that business and not make any money, but you go home a clean, clean, clean person, and God knows that tomorrow He will give you. Because never once did He leave His own to die to suffer. It may be tough, but at one time, He's going to come through for you. He will come through for you. So I don't want to judge, but when I spoke to this friend of mine, she told me this has been happening ever since she rented that place. And whenever he, she calls friends because she is born again, and whenever she is having a discussion about Jesus in that business premises of hers, that those cats keep disrupting them on the roofs, walking up and down very majestically and making a lot of... Her roof is uh, iron sheeted iron sheet and uh, the, you can imagine when you step on an, an iron sheet uh, the noise it makes now this cat is heavy it's big and i don't know if it is one actually i have frequented this place many times and there are always these cats walking above above our, our heads uh, up and down disrupting whenever we are mentioning the name of jesus Christ. but let me tell you the bible says that this name is powerful the name of jesus there is no other name that is above all other names the name of jesus christ is above all other names and call upon that name even when you are just going to fall like this you say jesus imagine he comes rescues you the name of jesus has got power and authority it is a very powerful name it's a name that should never escape our lips the name of jesus what other names do you want to mention you people how sweet is this name? This name is so sweet that I would want to mention it all the days of my life. The name of Jesus. I want to call upon it all other, every other time. The name of Jesus. There was a time I was driving and I, I was at a high speed. And um, a 
you ever known with these small vehicles uh, when they are not nicely serviced that you can uh, take a turn and, and the, the vehicle just bends excessively so one time it was at night and I was driving very very fast it was a, in a coffee plantation I was coming from my village home and I I was fearing because it was at night and I, I really wanted to come to the main road and uh, I I could not see a, a vehicle any vehicle ahead of me anyone any other vehicle ahead, uh, behind me and I was like when will I reach the highway where I can see many vehicles I was fearing so I was feeding I remember turning taking a turn there are very sharp corners on my way to my village home I remember taking a turn and my car did not pick that turn it swerved towards a caravan and let me tell you when I realized that my car is not turning a turn it was actually going to roar I shouted while still maneuvering I shouted the name of Jesus Jesus I shouted Jesus oh Jesus and do you know what happened my car went and hung on a caravan had it just dropped in that deep caravan maybe i would not be talking the way i'm talking today and when i i came out of that vehicle because it hung on a caravan just an inch before it drops i managed to open the door because actually the car was still uh, on its feet i opened the door the driver's door and i checked i saw the caravan is just like one foot away and uh, I reversed my vehicle and proceeded. And as I was driving, uh, not injured, the vehicle was not even hurt. As I was driving away, guys, I realized how powerful the name of Jesus is. And I said, who saved me from that accident? It is the name that I called, the name that has got power and authority, the name that is above all other names the name of Jesus. That's the name I called. It's the name I shouted and I got saved. So guys, what name do you call? What name do you call when you need help? Do you call that name that you are told by a witch doctor to call? Do you call that name that you know has got the saving grace? Or do you call there are people who call the, their mother's names when, when they are just about to, 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 to enter in a situation, an accident or something, they call their mother's names, their father's names, their friend's name. They call, they are those people who even call those names that are very, those, those names, you know them, like shit or whatever name. That name, that's, that's very naughty, that's very bad. There are those people who are quick to call upon that name. And, uh, let me tell you guys and advise you today and I may not be the best advisor but on this one I can tell you for sure for sure for sure that I know and I know and I know that the name of the Lord has got power and authority call upon the name of Jesus call upon the name of Jesus call Jesus if you are Christian I know there are Muslims listening and I don't want to say that uh, uh, I, that I, I can talk anything about a Muslim uh, whatever but I want to talk about the name that I know I'm a Christian and I know the name of Jesus has got power and authority call upon that name and that is what we called upon in that um, friends of mine uh, business premises and we call upon that name and we know that that name has got power so whatever powers that are walking around our roof they are destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. So thank you for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe to this channel. And this is Never HTV. And we'll see you in the next video. And